Hi guys, Jangro here, and welcome to episode 8 of this Valhelsia Enhanced Vanilla Hardcore playthrough. Uh, we're going to go back in time a little bit. In the last episode, we went looking for Nether Quartz, and that turned into a big adventure, which was too much to put into that episode. So I split it out, and we're doing a kind of uh, more adventuring, a little bit longer video. Some feedback that I got from you guys was that to see some more longer play stuff. So we're going to do a little bit of that here. This episode's all about spawners. We ended up picking up three additional spawners in, in this adventure around the world, which I was not expecting when I just poked into the nether for some quartz. So stick around. Let's head into the nether next. Before we can do that, I need obsidian. Check our armor, get some water. And let's head on down into our trusty cave where I know there's some lava. We can get some obsidian quickly. So let's head on down. All right, this is bugging me. Every time I come down here, I almost fall. So let's, let's make this a little safer. I should light up this entire place and make it a bit safer. Seems to be a place we head down to. Okay, so there's just some lava right down here. There's always some mobs. Take care of this guy. One, two shots. Two shots now. So I've got mending on all my armor, my pickaxe. I think my sword, yes. So all this XP generally goes to repairing my stuff before I get any levels from it, but that's cool. All right, let's, let's just grab some obsidian right here. We don't need to... We don't need to head too far in. That should be more than enough. This is probably one level deep. Yes, good. Can't believe I have not yet picked up a piece of obsidian. Turn on the pulsar. Hello. Hello, friend. All right, that should be enough. All right, let's head on out of here. So Galena. There's some mobs behind these walls. They scare me every time I walk through here. Where did he come from? This is probably a bad idea, but let's go take a look. There's always stuff coming out of here. I don't know why I'm hitting you with a bow. I feel like I've been in here before. Let's light this up a little. But this is a really nice, neat cave below the base, so I really should clean this up. More Galena. That's later game, Tech Reborn stuff. So there's some, there's gotta be some diamonds down here. Oh, well, there is a bat. Die, die or bat. And, oh, there's a cobblestone pillar here. I've definitely been here before. Oh, look at this. What is it? It's a zombie spawner dungeon. Nice. Oh, this was more than I bargained for coming down this cave. Okay. You can see them getting the wither effect from my, from my sword. Okay. Now to get this thing out of here, light the cave up around. Come on, anything good? Mm. Some rope. Let's grab it all. And 
advancement from additional editions music. Okay, we need to clear a path. We can't just pick this thing up and run. We're gonna, we're always running into mobs in this cave. So let's light this up, make a clear path out. Uh oh. Man, it's nice being, it's nice having a full set of hearts. Feeling pretty, pretty good about my armor and health situation now. It's definitely less worrying to, to run into guys like that. All right, let's light up this path out of here. It's a long way to carry a spawner. We're gonna have to put it down at least once to eat. All right, this seems relatively safe. Let's do this. Definitely eat first before making a long run carrying something. More creepers. All right, let's just get out of here. Two empty hands, okay. Here we go. No mobs, please. Oh, okay. Let's clear outside that cave entrance. Put this down over here in the light. They should hopefully not spawn. Just give it a little more just to make sure all right, who is out there? Well, the creeper. Heard a skeleton too. Yep. Oh geez. Okay, we got this guy. And he's gone. Where, where is he? Ah, oh, there he is. <laughs> These stupid vines. Okay, let's get out of here. There's usually somebody up on this dirt mound as well. All right, we made it. And this is where I regret not having stairs. We're gonna make some stairs here. We had a lot of maintenance to do down in this cave. We're gonna hit the stairs pretty soon. Ah, uh, watching the watching the food. All right, I think we're gonna make it. There's probably bats everywhere. Uh, you cannot open doors holding a holding something, so we're gonna put that down. And we'll put this right over here with with our other spawner. Continuing with our bad ideas, putting spawners in our base. Now this makes me want to build an XP grinder with the zombies, much better than spiders. All right, so the reason we went to get that obsidian was of course to build a portal and get to the nether. So I think we'll build it over here. Now there's a mod in this mod pack called Immersive Portals, which gives you a live view uh, through the portal. So if you're in the overworld, you can see into the, a live view of the nether and vice versa. So building against a portal against a wall like I usually do, doesn't really work very well because you'll see a, you'll be able to get through one side of the portal from the nether. So I think we'll just build it right here. And with immersive portals, you can build portals any size you want. You might even be able to build them horizontally. I'm not sure about that though. But you can have like a one by two doorway. So you can get away with less obsidian. All right, let's light this thing. So you see it's loading chunks. It's got to load the nether so you can view it through the portal. And here's a live view of the nether. 
See it slowly for the first time because the lava is forming and falling. All right, let's hit in. Put some gold on so we keep out of trouble. This looks like this is a really good spot. Look at all this glowstone. There's a lot of nether quartz around, which is what we're here for initially. As you can see, we can see back into the overworld. That's really neat. Let's take a quick peek around. Oh, I just realized we did not bring a waystone with us. Let's go take care of that. We need a waystone in the nether so we can, you know, do the quick teleport back to the nearest waystone. You need to have a waystone in the dimension you're in. You can't use that feature, you know, from the nether to go to the uh, uh, waystone in the overworld. So we need one here. So now we can, we can just explore without worrying about getting lost. So now we can use this return to nearest waystone functionality that's in our inventory. All right, let's grab some of this quartz. So we can make our quartz elevators. All right, let's just get it, see if we can get a little bit more quartz. There's some over here. That looks a little difficult to get to. How about up and over here? What's this? This is some cinnabar ore. Here's some more. That should be enough. Let's take a look at our map. Oh, look at this. Right close by, there's a bastion. We should go there. We just need to get up over that direction. Let's go back up top here and tunnel over. And this is about in line, so let's just Let's just tunnel in this direction. Need to get on the other side of that. This little chasm here. All right, maybe we'll just go and just take a look. We'll just take a look at this bastion. Let's not break this gold and annoy any nearby piglins. Here we go. This should be a nice straight shot right over there. Sphalerite, more tech reborn ores. Getting close. Oh, almost overshot it. I hear them, but they are, they must be down below. Let's dig, let's dig down. Yeah, we're getting close. Yeah, there it is. High right. This just doesn't seem safe. But I have to look. He doesn't seem to be annoyed at us. I hear a lot of them though. Let's dig down this way and see what's see if we can see the actual center of this place. Okay, there they are. I wonder what kind of bastion this is. Guessing based on how it looks on the map, a treasure room? Because there's also some gold blocks. There's like four or five different kinds of bastions. Barracks, stables, I think, and the treasure room. And way down in the bottom center of the treasure room is the treasure. Can we get there, though, without without dying? Yeah, I think this is a treasure room. Okay, now they see me. Come on, guys, jump off into the lava. Thankfully, none of these guys have crossbows. But those 
Piglin brutes, they're tough. If I have a run in with one of those up close, it's, it's all over. Now, if I wasn't in hardcore, I would just like parkour down there, but we're gonna go easy. Kind of tunnel our way safely. Oh, I see a chest over there, really far away over near that zombie. Yeah, right there. Let's see if we can make our way to that chest. Okay, he's got a crossbow. These guys are these guys are angry now. Now now they're jumping into the lava. Good job, guys. We have all the gold we want, but so not super interested in the gold, but Obviously, we want to get some of the loot in these chests that are in here. The thing about these bastions is there's just no good way into them. You just, there's no s consistent stairways. So we have to kind of mine our way down. Which, I don't know, doesn't feel great, but I don't think there's any... It's not like it's even a maze, like you can navigate. So we'll just dig our way down, especially because we're in hardcore and that's the safest way to do it. <laughs> so we can just clear the bastion from a distance. All right, now we're getting a better look down at the bottom there is where we got to get to. Trying very hard to be patient and careful. My inclination is to just jump in. Where? How do we get down here? All right. Zombies. Okay. You can see the treasure, the treasure room, as it were, down here below the bridge. There's our, there's our goal. All right, we've made it to the chest. I think this is the one that we saw before. Let's take a few of these things. You can use magma cream for making slime. Okay, that's good. Let's get down there. There you are. Let's just head down. There's a guy with a crossbow around here somewhere. There he is. Oh, okay. All right, we're getting close.
to get to that stairway. going on here we just need to get down one more one more level let's get that guy all right if you just dig through here dig down okay we did that here we are we found the bottom of the treasure treasure room and here's the chest I got a couple all right a couple diamond things in here let's get well the getting's good too much too much inventory what do we dump let's just netherite nice let's just get Let's just get out of here. Although, and also this again, we don't need any gold. We have so much, but I can't. I don't know. I can't be down here in the bastion without looting all these gold blocks. So let's just grab those and. There's that spawner up there. Right up there, you can see it. This is a magma cube spawner, but we'll come back for that. Let's let's head back home. Okay. Uh oh. Whoa. Huh. Seriously? You just broke my portal, dude. Fixed our portal, got out of here. Instead of heading straight home, decided to head up into the mountain again to look for some coal because we are sh short on that. And what do you know? We find a dungeon right in the mountain near our house. So let's light this up and think about how are we going to get this thing? How are we going to get this thing back home? What do we got here in this chest? Some glow sticks, rope, another music disc, some machine frames. All right, well, yeah, nothing, nothing super interesting. These glow sticks are pretty cool. You can throw them and they light up. They're kind of like Deep Rock Galactic. If, you have, if you've ever played that game. All right, well, let's clear a path out. Get some of this coal we came for. So if we just kind of dig straight through the wall, we should come right out into the meteor, the meteorite hole. And of course, we're running into caves. And here we are. All right, let's sleep, and then we will take this spawner home. All right, pick it up, two empty hands as usual, and a shift right click, and we head out. All right, it's just a long walk home at this point. Probably quickest to swim. Keeping an eye on our hunger. Let's stop here and eat. All right, we should be able to make it home from here. I can see, I can see our lights. Oh, 
All right, we made it. And we'll put it right over here with our other two spawners. We've now got a skeleton, zombie, and a cave spider. And now, you know what? I want to go get that magma cube spawner and just round out our terrible idea of keeping spawners in our base. So all bastions, all treasure room bastions have magma cube spawners. And we saw it down there quite briefly, I think. But it's there. And it's actually really useful in the Halsey Enhanced Vanilla because, because you can turn magma balls, is that what they're called? Into slime balls with Tech Reborn. With one of the machines. And this time, I'm just going to jump down with my Feather Falling Boots. Hoping that no new piglins have, have spawned. And there's also more chests in here that I did not get before. I think there's a couple chests kind of surrounding the bottom layer. So let's just run around and get that stuff quickly. It's a little bit disappointing though. There's not really any great stuff in here. I guess the gilded blackstone is pretty cool. I don't see how spectral arrows are of much use. See, there's the spawner. So we just got to get over to that. Piece of cake, right? I'll just make a quick platform. Or maybe not so quick. We just can't have these big guys here, I guess. The little ones shouldn't be a problem. And if we can just get a bunch of little ones, this should stop other ones from spawning. There's just so many of them. Okay, quick platform. Of course, this will then cause them to spawn on top of it. Should have made it with slabs. Just gonna take a second. We can reach that. Now we need a quick exit. And if we just head over to the west, that direction, that should get us pretty close to the portal. Let's just go right up here. Just zombies. They should be fine. As long as I don't hit them, they apparently want out. Okay. Come on, guys. Uh, I don't want to hit them. Let's, let's take to the side. Actually, at this point... We can turn to the We can turn to the south at this point. We should come right up near the portal. And yes, there it is. Okay. Now there's a ghast over there we're going to need to remember when we come back. And, yep, they're spawning on our platform. That's fine. Okay, here's a spawner. Let's grab it. And we head up. Keeping an eye on our hunger. Almost there. All right. We have to get across. We 
something I have to get across here. So let's put this down someplace they hopefully won't spawn more. Like jammed in this stairway, maybe? Let's try that. Make a bridge. All right. Let's go get it. And I hear that gas. Are we going to be able to get through? I think we're okay. All right. We made it. Now, if I put this down, it's going to spawn because they are immune. Uh-oh. Okay, that was close. And these guys are just going to spawn in any light. So we need, just need to get this thing someplace safe quickly. It cannot go next to the other spawners over here. How about up here somewhere? Maybe we can tuck it temporarily over here. Close this off. Good enough. They're spawning. All right, they're trapped. And there, there we go. Let's let's dress this up just a little bit. get some glass so we can watch our I don't know if those little guys can jump through a single block hole but let's not take any chances there and there we go our magma cube observation tank all right now back down to the other spawners and the other one is kind of you can see it up there and we've got four spawners to do something fun with here I think that's going to do it for this episode. Do me a favor, drop me a comment and let me know what you think I should do with these spawners. We've got four. We've got cave spider, zombie, skeleton, and now a magma cube spawner. So there's going to be something creative we can do that's better than just vanilla XP farms. So let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate that. And also, please subscribe, like the video, and comment. Let me know what you think about how this is going. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.